What's up everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming and we are finally back with some more LEGO Ninjago movie video game. That's right, we got Location 3, the Ninjago City Dock Story. This is going to consist of just Chapter 6, we're only going to find that one trophy achievement and uh, grab a couple of collectibles along the way. Now, the character tokens that we get are actually given to us via the level ending, uh, so we'll have to uh, check that out as we get to the end. Now, we start off here and this is kind of a transition scene in between the... Uh, uh, city beach and the city docks as you can see we've got the open gate over here on the far right however we don't seem to have enough bricks in order to open that so uh, we'll have to come back at a later date and do that so we're gonna go ahead and approach this green glowing aura and uh, once we accept it it's actually gonna take us away into our first and only cutscene of this level everything <laughs> Done. No idea. But you should see what that monster did to my ship. Oh, you're okay. Yeah, but as I mentioned, my ship isn't. So anytime you can start building a new one. Wait. Have you been crying? What about everyone else? Are they okay? Uh, I don't know. That's a lot of people, and personally, I only know about 50. Oh, wait. You mean us ninjas? Not sure. I think Cole and Kai were only a few streets over, though. And let's move. Seriously? Were you crying? <laughs> the whole city's in trouble. We need to find the others and get to Master Wu. Sure. All right, looks like we've got Jay and Lloyd to take care of us here. And, uh, oh, but wait, we actually told you we were going to show you the map. We haven't pulled up the map yet to check things out. Check it out. Look how big this is. Now, this isn't a complete free roam. It doesn't seem like we can go from area to area to area. You have to teleport, and each of these areas seem to be separate. However, I'm still kind of a noob. You guys are probably way further than I am at this point. Uh, due to some copyright stuff, we've actually gotten slowed way down. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we're going to get through that. Basically, what we've had to do is remove all of the cutscenes that are related directly to the movies. Now, you're scratching your head going, wait a minute, Brian, you just had one that was directly from the movie. Well, it's really weird because it's kind of hit and miss. Like, sometimes they're copyright and sometimes they're not. So, we just have to kind of, like, put them in, upload them to YouTube, and see what happens. Now, I had a test way that I used to be able to do things where I could, like, test a small clip um, and, and then it would work or wouldn't work. I can't do that anymore. YouTube's changed their algorithm yet again, and uh, my little cheat system doesn't work. So, all right, we have uh, I've made it to our first little battle royale here. We've got this weird-looking Martian robot thing over here that's uh, preventing our path to get through here, or, or I guess uh, stopping our path or something like that. You know what I'm trying to say. He's preventing our uh, escape. But, uh, yeah, so we got a couple of other bad guys that pop up. we got to take those guys out. And depending on how you spent your ninjanuity tokens, uh, depending on which attack you use, you might actually earn yourself a few extra studs now the studs are really important in this as we do have to level our characters up the different ninja levels and those are all based on studs now hey here's one of our first free playage items we haven't seen a whole lot of those scattered throughout now as time goes on and Dougie gets further through his guide writing he actually has kind of found out that you can't get all of the collectibles just in the free room which happens to be it's kind of confusing so you got to go like you got to replay story is what it sounds like Free roam is is actually what we would consider free play. No, sorry. Free play is what we would consider free roam. And it sounds like we're going to have to replay the story again in order to do the standard free play stuff. So, really confusing, guys. Like, I'm going to have to have a talk with Warner Brothers, even though I don't really have, like, a phone number to call or anything. But you know what I'm saying. Like, we got to let these guys know that this is just confusing. Now, as a player, it's actually really fun to play. But as somebody trying to document this to, like, show it off to you guys, it's confusing. All right, we have to take out this bad guy. In order to do that, we actually have to use Lloyd's sword. That's right, we got to use his awesome sword skills to go ahead and bust open that weird object right behind me there. As you can see, there is a green sword lighting up. Now, one thing I will say, too, it seems like any time you need a specific item for an object, like right there, we needed Lloyd's sword to go ahead and chop away, I don't know what those are, vines or something, rope, some sort of weird object there. But whatever it is, 
Um, you know, we, it should be the color of the character. Like, that one was green, so that made sense, right? Because Laloid is green. Uh, but if it's J and it's like an electric thing, it's going to show green as well. And to me, it should be blue because that's J's color, right? I mean, that, that would have made it easier for like an old timer like me. But see, look, there it is. It's green on the ground, but yet he's blue. Does that make sense? Like, I don't understand. But anyways. All right, let's check it out. We've got a rocket-powered hot dog. And, uh, yeah, that blew his mind. And, uh, oh, we got ourselves an ingenuity token for doing that. So it seems as though these tokens are awarded to you for simply just progressing through the story. And for us, we're going to go ahead and get that attack chain built up. But look at that. Just call us two chains now because we got two attack No, I'm just kidding. All right, we got, uh, we got what do we got now? We've got we got to make it through that little alleyway here that that robot was blocking. And, uh, hey, you know, I got to give a shout out to these guys. They, they've made a lot of improvements on some things, too, like that GPS waypoint marker. Like, that's pretty cool. And oh, and how cool is this? The hammerhead shark drone that's coming in? Like, that's pretty awesome. I wish my drone looked like a hammerhead shark. But uh, he drops off a couple of bad guys, and we get to get our cha 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 on again. And what do you guys think of this game so far? Have you guys gotten a chance to see the movie? Now, it's very similar storylines, but yet very different at the same time. We get to experience some things in the game that we didn't really see in the movie, and vice versa. So uh, it's pretty cool. I love how they do that. They don't totally ruin it for you. They give you bits and pieces of both the unexplained and the explained. And I'm having a kind of a hard time with this boss here. Uh, he is blocking a majority of my attacks, and I can't find one that seems to work. But I finally slip in the old back door and give him the old cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. And look at that. Spam, 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 spam. Finish him. All right. We got him. And we even got a little 2x multiplier for doing it. Pick up all them studs. And we'll go ahead and follow the blue waypoint marker to our next point of escape here, which looks like we're going to do some more rooftop running. Oh, yeah. And a little trick I found. There's actually a, a fail moment coming up right here that... Uh, Oh no, I didn't make the double jump. Now, if that happens to you, if you're quick enough on the old button pressings, you can actually switch to the character who hasn't been a more complete moron and plummeted to his doom. And uh, that'll actually save you some time from having to run back up. Now, uh, it is kind of frustrating because it happens to me quite a few times throughout, well, the three chapters that I've played so far. Or, uh, sorry, locations. The three locations that I've played so far. Every game should call them the same. You know what I'm saying? They should all be a chapter or a level. One or the two because it gets too confusing trying to keep up with all of them. But uh, all right, so we got some rooftop running, a lot of uh, billboards getting some uh, pitter patters of our feet. And look at that, we've got uh, which, which way do we go? Which way do we go? Look at that, we got a zip line up here, which is kind of weird. We got all the way to the top just to get right back towards the bottom. But look at that, looks like we've got some sort of double grapple point up top that we're going to make our way to. And I think we actually free Cole. Yeah, we can hear him. He's like, hey guys. And we need to use his hammer to go ahead and smash that elevator down. But we got to free him first, so make your way all the way to the top, and whichever character you have, go ahead and stand right in front of this weird object. Use the circle or B button, depending on which platform you're playing on. I guess the Switch also has a button, too. I got to I gotta be careful. I should just call it the icons. Press the icon indicated, and that will go ahead and grapple and switch to your other character and do the same. And look at that. All of a sudden, we've got uh, the third part of our gang here. We've got three of us now. So we got we know we got to smash that hammer downstairs, so we'll go ahead and ring the bell. Feel like we're going to the carnival right now. We're gonna try to, uh, you know, hit that uh, power pad to see if we can actually ring the bell up top. All right, we actually now have access to climb up on top of the elevator, and of course, there's another little running pad on the wall that we can get up top there. This one's kind of tricky. You got a handheld to a jump, and then look at that—it's into like a little elevator. I don't know what's going on here. It's a weird little hole in the wall here. And you gotta love the modular building of this city. Like, everything is like stacked on top of stacked on top of stacked. And, uh oh, we got some sharks across the way. That doesn't look good. And, oh, look at that. We've gotta go rescue another one of our friends. Oh, another hammerhead shark uh, drone incoming with some bad guys. So they're gonna drop them. And, of course, we've gotta do the same. We gotta drop. Oh, that guy's got a sea urchin on his head. Isn't that what that is? That's like one of the funny things in the movie, that, you know. Uh, Garmadon's always like, oh, look, those guys are, old. they're not very cool. They're not dressed in, like, awesome outfits like sharks and animals and stuff. It's pretty, it's pretty funny, and I, and I love it. Like, it's, it's awesome that they give homage to the sea. I'm not sure why Garmadon is so attached to the sea, but, oh, cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha, cha-cha. I love that. That's, like, got to be my favorite move right there. All right, so another hammerhead drone incoming. It's going to drop a couple of missiles at us. Ooh, he hit the first car, but not the second. So we're going to go ahead and smash it. Maybe not. Ooh, we're going to rebuild what was left. Oh, that's right. Look at that. We're going to rebuild the truck that he didn't smash. 
And uh, we got some more incoming missiles, and it looks like we got a green spot on that. Oh, we're gonna need Jay and his power. So go ahead and wrap his chain around there, and look at that. That's right, we've got a little grapplage going on here, and hammerhead drone down, as well as a pathway for us to get out of here. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and follow the trail up, but not before checking out some studs in the back corner. Actually, I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss anything back here. There's certainly something back there, but I'm afraid that's going to be some uh, collectible stuff for our collectible run, which I'm still not sure what we're going to call it. I'm assuming it's going to be free play just because that's what everyone is going to be looking for. However, not all the collectibles are found in these videos. At least that's what we're under the impression of. So, all right, hip it to the hopper and you just don't stop it all the way to that far ledge where them snarky sharkies are. We'll go ahead and give them the old cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. And ooh, looks like we need the blades. Some katana blades, which Kai is right up inside that uh, burning mech on the left. Now, keep in mind, we're saving all of our ninjas because they've been attacked by Meowthra. And so we got to actually get Kai out of here so we can use his... Uh, super sweet katanas to go ahead and activate that terminal back there. So go ahead and use Cole's hammer to go ahead and slam a jamma some hammer. And look at that. We also got uh, we got a multi build here. And which way do we go first? Uh, let's see. Here. I'm gonna try the right, I think. And let's see here. Uh, usually there's an order of how you're supposed to do it, but it's not always obvious. So let's see. Okay, that did something. Okay, good, good, good. Put out, put out the fire down below. That's right, because we didn't stop the fire. I love that they brought the bouncing stud bricks into this game, too. That's something that we haven't seen in all LEGO games. Uh, definitely a big part of LEGO Dimensions. And I know we've seen it uh, here and there and some other places, too. So, All right, we've got uh, another got a build to the left now. And once we build this, uh, keep in mind, too, you got to smash the pipes on the right in order to rebuild it again on the Z left. And once we get that charged up, it actually fills up the pipes and it sprays down the fire, releasing Kai from his, well, cockpit, I guess. And look at that. He is free to go now. Yay. Well, we almost got the gang all back together. Not quite. And oh, little shout out to viewer Sue. She actually informed us that to access the ancient scrolls, uh, to add, like the extras menu, you do it from the character select wheel right there. So I, I don't have any on-screen moments where I show you this because I actually had not found that out yet during this recording. But uh, I made a little note of that in one of our previous videos, and Sue went out of her way to go ahead and tell me. And even Dougie didn't know that at the time. Now, we probably should have known because we've seen that before in previous LEGO games where they stuff the extras option for the red bricks into the character select wheel. But uh, we'd forgotten all about that, so whoopsie. Sorry about that, but shout out to Sue for making that a reality, both for me and you. <laughs> oh, and look out for Meowthra. That is so, like, I love this. Like, I gotta be honest, my cat Emmett is pretty much like this in regards to our Lego table. Some of you have even seen it in some of our unboxing videos. He just kind of does and goes wherever he wants. And uh, it's pretty awesome. We love the fact that we've got a cat that, you know, that knows who he is. But at the same time, it is kind of annoying having to rebuild a lot of our Lego projects that he destroys. But uh, pretty funny, and uh, oh, look at that, we actually leveled up to True Ninja level 4. Now again, that is for collecting studage. Uh, if you get a whole bunch of studs, you're going to level up faster. If you put them off for later, you're going to have to wait till later to get your level and upage. But uh, ooh, look at that, the double wall ride to the grapple. That is getting pretty squirrely, or squirrel McDoog, as we like to say around here. But uh, all right, so we have officially made it to the end, and Meowthra is overwatching us, so we got to run away, run away. We got some more of those snarky sharkies. We're going to take them out with a series of kachas. And oh, we got one of these, uh, I don't know what, it looks like he's got his head in a fishbowl or something, doesn't it? All right, so our combo is getting up there, but not quite to where we need to be. However, we got that 100x combo in the last area. Now, I was also informed by another one of our viewers that there is a spot later in the game that actually is pretty sweet for getting that 100 combo in. So uh, we might do a trophy achievement video for that at some point. And if we do, we'll go ahead and include that specific information in that as well. 
But uh, all right, we are keep on keeping on and we get to the end here. We got to smash and rebuild this power terminal, which then, of course, is going to need the J Shock Blast. Oh, you know, I got to thinking about that. You know, there's another YouTuber out there for those of you who don't know. A guy goes by the name of J Shock Blast and he does a lot of Lego games and stuff, too. One might even consider him our competition, even though I got much love for J. I got much love for all those guys, Pack Attack and all those guys out there that have started before us and that are doing well out there. I, I got I can't hate on that um you know i got love so anyways uh jay shock it made me wonder like jay in ninjago world is uh he's always been known for having the shock blast the electricity so i you know i'd love to talk to him and ask him and maybe you guys already know i don't have any connections with him in fact he probably doesn't even know who we are but uh maybe he does but anyway we uh i'd, I'd be curious to know that if if jay shock blast youtube name came from some ninjago related uh you know information all right, so we have uh, made it all the way to the end of our pathway here, and it's easy to figure out where you need to go thanks to that blue GPS waypoint arrow. And uh, we can see we've got a couple of items that needed to be smashed and now rebuilt. So we'll go ahead and rebuild, and look at that. We've got two power terminals. We've got one on the left and one on the right. So we're going to go ahead and activate this guy on the left. Looks like one was a multi-build, and the other one was just an actual uh, build. Oh, no, I take that back. It's not a multi-build at all. It actually gets it. Oh, to the, yeah, it filled up the power meter for both. That's sweet. Now, look at that. We've got Zane. we got to go rescue again. It seems like we're always helping this guy out. You know, the, the voice acting for this movie slash game is just an all-star cast. I, I got to love, uh, well, I got lots of love for all the people that were cast. But, you know, Zach Woods, the guy who does the voice acting for Zane, he has kind of been like a uh, really underrated all-star in himself. Like, he's got lots of roles. Like, you probably saw him in the new Ghostbusters movie. He was the tour guide at the very beginning of the movie uh, who was playing tricks, but then the trick was actually played on him. Uh, he's also in, uh, he played Gabe in The Office. Uh, he's been in a lot of stuff. You know, we, we've seen him in a handful of things. And uh, most notably, he's also in... Um, one of my favorite shows on TV right now, Silicon Valley. He plays Jared, who is just like a sad sap, but he's so helpful and such a good guy. Like, I just really love that character. You can't help but feel bad for him. So, Zach Woods, uh, I doubt you're watching this, but uh, much love, buddy. You are a hero to me. And All right, so uh, moving along, we got Zane. All that's left is Nia. And, uh, you know, I finally said that right. I've been saying Naya, like, my whole life. I don't know why I could never get that right. It just doesn't seem right. Nia, you know what I mean? But, uh, all right, so we got around the corner here. We got a couple of flying baddies. No problem for us as we got that jump flying attack, which is pretty sweet. A little Sonic the Hedgehog stolen move there. And, all right, we've got uh, we need, got the, the need for some archery here. So Zane is going to come and uh, put those targets to rest for us. And what do they reveal? We took them both out. And, oh, open says me. We got another way to go now. Uh-oh, we got, oh, hey, look at that. We've got, what? What's going on? Who's that up there? It looked like it said it was Kai. Do, right? Did I have these back? No. We, we, we're looking for Nia, right? Like, I don't even know what's going on. I'm so lost right now. All right, we got Zane, and hey, you know, I am finding that some of the moves of these characters are a lot easier to do with other, I mean, is like the, the rushing, what is it, the rushing boar, the rushing bear, whatever it is, is that specific to one character? It seems like I can't do it with anybody but Zane. However, we didn't get trained with Zane, so I don't know what's going on there. I need to go back to that uh, dojo at the beginning and uh, figure out all the special moves. What's going on over here? Like, Lloyd's, like, chilling. Isn't that Lloyd? What's he doing? I'm not even sure what's going on. See, I got, uh, I'm so confused in this part of the level right now. Like, I know what we need to do. We need to save our last hero here, but there's some weird things going on, and we got to couple of uh, pedestals to hop across here to get to that other side. A double jump probably wouldn't do it for us. And I uh, plummeted down below. So hopefully uh, you can be quick on the draw like me and use the uh, character switch button to go ahead and switch back up top. We got some more hippa to the hoppa all the way up to the toppa. And look at that. We've got, uh, is that, that's Nia up there, right? I'm pretty sure that's there. Kai, we're almost there. Yeah, that's me saying that to Nia. All right, yeah, I, I know what's going on now. And look at that. I fell off the edge there, and luckily I saved myself all the way up to the top. And here we go into the final cutscene that has been removed due to copyright reasons. So we'll go ahead and take that trophy achievement, Master of Forgiveness. We'll collect our one gold brick for finishing the level out. Uh, hey, I said we collect it. Come on now. All right, there we go. We also got uh, free play unlocked for completing the area, so that's pretty sweet. 
Now, I do believe that free play is what we would call free roam, but we'll, we'll have to verify that as we complete the story here. Uh, we got a couple of character tokens. Uh, you can see we got Lloyd or Lloyd, depending on how you like to say it. And, you know, I definitely need to speed this final totals area up a little bit more than I do. Normally, I speed it up quite a bit, but I, I didn't do it for these, and I'm not sure why. Uh, I definitely need to speed it up. So we'll be looking for that in the next video. We also got Jay, and who's the third one? I already know who it is, but do you? Oh, it's Master Wu! All right, so we've got a handful of character tokens now, but we still have lots to go. Uh, we also got a couple character creator pieces. Now, these are unlocked for leveling up to the next ninja. And, ooh, steel weapons unlocked. So that's something related to the story. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it might have something to do with our ninja level as well. But, oh, hey, guess what? Thanks for watching. That's going to wrap it up for LEGO Ninjago Movie Video Game Location 3 Ninjago City Dock Story. And, uh, yeah, we're going to take one last look. We have made it to level four of level ninja levels. And, uh, yeah, but that's going to do it, though. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know it's been kind of uh, far in between videos. Hopefully that'll go a lot quicker now that we're just going to remove all the movie-based cutscenes. And, uh, hey, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that, let us know down below. And, of course, as always, until next time.